young scientists. Welcome to our first episode of our Science Investigatory Project series for Grade 4 Special Science Elementary Schools. I'm Teacher Arlen, and I'm excited to guide you as we explore the exciting world of research and discovery. In this episode, we will learn to identify what a science investigatory project is and understand the advantages and disadvantages of science investigatory projects. We'll talk about how it can help us understand the world around us and solve real life problems, just like what a real scientists do. So grab your pens, papers, and your curious minds, and let's dive into the world of science investigation. Are you ready? Let's begin. Have you ever tried to answer a question or solve a problem using things around you? For example, why does ice melt faster in the sun? These are the kinds of questions that make us curious about how things work, right? Well, scientists use something called a Science Investigatory Project, or SIP for short, to help them find answers to these types of questions. Just like how you wonder about these things, and SIP is a tool you can use to explore, experiment, and figure out the why behind everyday problems. And today, we're going to learn all about it. What is a Science Investigatory Project? A science investigatory project uses the scientific method to study and test an idea about how something works. It involves researching a topic, formulating a hypothesis that can be tested, conducting an experiment, and recording and reporting the results. In short, a science investigatory project allows us to answer questions like that by conducting experiments, just like real scientists. The main goal of a science investigatory project is to give kids like you a fun and exciting way to learn more about science and how to conduct experiments. The steps you will follow during hands-on activities are similar to those used by older students, even in college when they study science. I hope in this lesson sparks your curiosity about science and encourages you to learn even more as you grow up. Science investigatory projects offer many advantages. Now, let's discuss them one by one. First, they promote hands-on learning. You learn by doing things yourself rather than just reading from a book. For example, instead of merely reading about how plants grow, you can actually plant seeds, water them, and watch them grow over time. Second, they encourage curiosity and questioning. A science investigatory project allows you to explore questions you're curious about and find your own answers. For example, if you wonder why some fruits rot faster than others, you can design an experiment to investigate. Third, it develops problem-solving skills. Science investigatory projects help you think critically about problems and come up with ways to solve them. For example, you might test different materials to see which one makes the best umbrella by keeping things dry. Fourth, it boosts your confidence. Completing a science investigatory project allows you to take pride in your hard work and discoveries. For instance, after experimenting with paper airplanes, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment when you identify the design that flies the farthest. And lastly, it prepares you for future learning. Science investigatory projects help you practice skills that will be useful later in school and in life, such as critical thinking, testing ideas, and working carefully. For example, learning to measure water or time during an experiment helps you get ready for larger science projects in the future. Now, let's discuss the disadvantages of science investigatory projects, or SIPs. While they offer numerous benefits, it's important to be aware of some challenges you might face. First, SIPs can be quite time-consuming. Conducting experiments, gathering data, and analyzing results take a lot of time and effort. Sometimes, students like you might feel overwhelmed by the amount of work involved, especially if they have other school assignments to complete. So, you need to be patient. Sample. If you're testing how fast plants grow, you need to wait days or weeks to see the results. 
second, experiments can fail. Sometimes your experiment doesn't work the way you expected, which can be frustrating. For example, you might try to grow plants with different types of water, but if all of them die, you won't get the results you expected. Third, materials can be limited. Sometimes you don't have all the tools or materials you need for your experiment. For example, if you want to test different types of soil but only have access to one kind, your experiment might not be complete. Lastly, experiments require careful attention. You have to be very careful and follow the steps exactly, which can be hard if you're in a hurry or get distracted. For example, if you forget to water your plants during an experiment, your results won't be accurate. Let's explore. I hope you're all as excited as I am for our activity today. A gallery walk. This will be a fun and interactive way for us to dive deeper into our lesson. Here's the instructions. First, the class will divide into small groups with three to seven students each. Each group will create a poster that illustrates the definition of a science investigatory project and at least two advantages and two disadvantages of conducting and SIP. The gallery walk will be 15 minutes. Once the posters are completed, each group display their poster around the classroom. Each group will walk around and read the posters. The groups can use sticky notes to leave comments, questions or additional advantages, disadvantages on each poster. After the gallery walk, discuss what learned from each other's posters. Highlight interesting points or any new advantages or disadvantages that came up during the activity. Lastly, you will write a short sentence on what you think is the most important advantage or disadvantage of doing a science investigatory project. Let's recap. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. What is a science investigatory project? A science investigatory project uses the scientific method to study and test an idea about how something works. Science investigatory projects offer many advantages. First, they promote hands-on learning. You learn by doing things yourself rather than just reading from a book. Second, they encourage curiosity and questioning. A science investigatory project allows you to explore questions you're curious about and find your own answers. Third, it develops problem-solving skills. Science investigatory projects help you think critically about problems and come up with ways to solve them. Fourth, it boosts your confidence. Completing a science investigatory project allows you to take pride in your hard work and discoveries. And lastly, it prepares you for future learning. Science investigatory projects help you practice skills that will be useful later in school and in life, such as critical thinking, testing ideas, and working carefully. Plus the disadvantages of science investigatory projects, or SIPs. First, SIPs can be quite time consuming. Conducting experiments, gathering data, and analyzing results take a lot of time and effort. Sometimes, students like you might feel overwhelmed by the amount of work involved, especially if they have other school assignments to complete. So, you need to be patient. Second, experiments can fail. Sometimes, your experiment doesn't work the way you expected, which can be frustrating. Third, materials can be limited. Sometimes, you don't have all the tools or materials you need for your experiment. Lastly, Experiments require careful attention. You have to be very careful and follow the steps exactly, which can be hard if you're in a hurry or get distracted. Let's evaluate. Now it's time for us to assess what we've learned. We'll be doing a short quiz to reinforce our understanding. This activity is called Let's Evaluate. I want you to read each sentence carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Make sure you take your time and think about each question. Once you've chosen your answer, write the corresponding letter on your paper. If you have any questions while you're working, don't hesitate to ask your research teacher. Let's get started. I'll hand out the quiz now. Good luck.
how was your test? I hope you all felt confident about your answers. Please make sure to submit your papers to your research teacher for review and check your answers. Before we finish, I want to leave you with an inspiring message. Every great discovery begins with a question. Let your science investigatory project be the journey that leads you to answers. Thank you all for your hard work today. I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Don't forget to watch for episode two of our science investigatory project series. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.